My name's Free, and I'm a textile graphic designer for Mambo. Originally working in corporate graphic design and my own illustrations on the side, and I kind of combined those two and found the job at Mambo perfect for my skill set. My day to day really involves actually getting stuck into the art, so I do a lot of hand illustrations and typography pieces for t shirts and singlets. I then scan it into the computer and then, then I put it into Photoshop or Illustrator and really deconstructing the hand-drawn elements that I've drawn and putting them together to make a pattern that can be printed on fabric. I think the skills needed to be a good graphic designer is knowing the rules. I really believe that knowing the graphic design rules is important and then you know that you're able to challenge them and work on your own creative license with them. After I've done a piece of art, it's then sent off to the heads of design. A massive role for them is to continually challenge and inspire and bring out your own individual strengths as well as those around you. When you're doing something you love, you're continually striving to be the best in your field that you can be. I love it. Hello, my name is Rachel, I'm an illustrator, I'm drawing Messi Monster in Okido magazine and uh, Okido show, Messi goes to Okido. We are still really uh, passionate about paper and uh, simple uh, media like uh, drawings. I'm one of the art directors for the magazine. I draw illustrations, I do some design, I come up with some games and recipes. I try to make things that are kind of fun, but also that you get to learn something from whatever you make. At the moment, I'm drawing an octopus um, in a bowl of hummus, which is for a recipe that we're doing for a new book. I've got to illustrate that and then make sure that it all looks very clear so that you guys can make it. Oh, and look, yeah, the x-ray, you through the window, you can see. All of these people doing animation. They're making 3D models of the characters. Like, you know, the eyes are moving up or down, the mouth is happy or sad. Here we can see a clip from the TV show, and you can see all the different layers that goes into making uh, one shot for the uh, Messi Goes to a Kiddo. Okay, now we're gonna draw them, okay. and we can maybe do uh, some expression, you know, like uh, ow, ow. Yeah, yeah. because Messi likes to do a lot of expression. His tummy is quite small. What type of creature is Messi? Messi is like an imaginary friend a bit. You can say it's not you. We did the mess in the bedroom. It's it's Messi monster. What stuff do you use to make art? Well, we use colouring pencils, uh, felt tip pens. We might do a, a drawing 
you scan those drawings and then we might colour it in in the computer. Why is drawing important to you? You know, when I make a story, often I do like little sketch. You know, like some people, it's more like the words. I don't write really nicely. I, I prefer to draw. I like drawing messy monster. I put a carrot in his mouth. I put tomatoes in his eyes, tomato in his teeth. What's special about illustration and animation? It's really amazing, I would say. Imagine, you draw something and you give it to someone, to an animator, and suddenly you make it move. Okay, yeah. So that's really fun. The thing that was originally just um, come from a, a pencil onto yeah. a piece of paper now is running around on the TV. Yeah. It's a very big awesome. collaboration. I think the illustrators are good artists and if I did work at Aokido, I'd like to be one of the illustrators. I'd like to be the person who animates and makes the cartoons move their mouth and everything. You make something and that's kind of art, so basically art, but like we've added extra technology. So now you're going to design your own magazine cover. So you're going to first decide what kind of magazine do you want to make. Do you want to make it about fashion? Do you want to make it about sports? Do you want to make it about video games? What do you want to make a magazine about? You also want to think about what title you want to come up with. What's the name of your magazine? And then you want to come up with a cover. Now first, that's probably the first thing you want to come up with is the design. Then name it. Like this one's called Motivate Me Daily. This one's called style. And then it has some other parts, like some headlines and things around it that are grabbing your attention while telling us what the magazine's about. Now I have this grid that's right here. This tells you all the different parts. We have the masthead, is which is the title. Okay. Then we have the tagline underneath it. Then we have the date, the number issue, and the quotes and things like that. See, these are the things that grab your attention and tell you what's in the magazine. So that's what you're going to do to design your own magazine. It's not a lot of writing. It's really just coming up with key components that uh, hopefully you learn through designing and how to learning how to design through color and pattern and things like that. And then putting it your own ideas in and drawing what you want to draw. Just a review, masthead is the title, what the magazine is called tagline is what it's all about date is an issue number doesn't matter just make up something okay and the pull quote cover line and main cover line are questions and statements about that magazine idea now your subject should not be your title or your tagline or your ideas that are in the quotes if you're doing one about basketball, that should not be your title, that should not be anything else. That's your subject. The title should be something that's cool and more upbeat and more unique, like hoops or slam, or something like that. Okay, try to think of a unique idea. All right, guys, have fun. <laughs>